Today's Browns report is all about the way Cleveland could actually still make the playoffs. I know it sounds a little ridiculous, and losing two in a row felt like a nail in the coffin, but the Browns, believe it or not, still have a somewhat decent chance. I think it's a decent chance to make the playoffs. And so with that being said, you're telling me there's a chance. I'm abs I absolutely am. Even though there's two weeks left in the season and this team is below 500, the chance is not that far-fetched, actually. We'll, it, we'll explore it all in a moment, but here's what the numbers tell us. The Browns have a 13.5% chance of making the playoffs. I have no idea how ESPN calculates this. I think they make up numbers, and no one can argue against them because what are you going to put it in, your own playoff machine? I don't have one on standby. So they put it at 13.5. I think it's actually a little bit better than that. There's a good chance that they can win the division. Here are the standings. We'll get it across. The AFC North standings for the Browns. Number one is the Bengals. They're at 9-6. and six. They're coming off that hot win last week against the Ravens, who are 8-7. and seven. And then you go to the Steelers, the worst team to ever have 12 wins in a season last year, and they are the worst team this year to have seven wins in a season. And then you got the Browns at 7-8, and eight, which I know it looks daunting for Cleveland at 7-8 and eight with two weeks left, left to go from last, like worst to first, but they can throw the little Mario Kart blue shell and blow up the Bengals at the front and leapfrog frog them. I'm going to show you how they can do that in today's video. Here are the current AFC playoff picture. Following Monday night, the Dolphins pick up a big win. Uh, it was a seven in a row, and they are on their way into the wild card picture. And the Browns at seven and eight, way behind, okay? Only the second to last team that's still alive in the playoff picture. So Cleveland right there doesn't look like they can do it, but I think they can. If you still believe the Browns can make the playoffs, then get in the comment section. This is the pinned comment on the video. So give me a Y for yes or N for no. It's the first one down there. You scroll on down. It's boom, it's waiting for you. All right, and if a YouTube ad break hits you right now, then scroll on down. Drop a Y for yes while that ad rolls. Like I said, it's not as crazy as you think, actually, for the Browns to make the playoffs. I'm not just blowing smoke here. They don't even need a ton of help. Most of it is in their own hands. They just need one tiny little favor, and we'll look at that. We're going to go through all the schedules of the AFC North teams because I think the best route for the Browns is to win the division, okay? We'll go through all four team schedules. We'll see what needs to happen for Cleveland to make the playoffs and what kind of favors they need from the rest of the team, uh, rest of the division. So first, the Browns schedule. The last three games, you see the Week 16 loss on Christmas to the Packers. Packers. We'll leave it at that. Week 17, Monday Night Football against the Steelers. They have to win. They have to win out. This is no no air fans, doors, or butts. Need to win out. You got to take care of business against the Bengals. Sweep them in the series this uh, in week 18 against the, uh, against the Cincinnati Bengals. So we need to win out if you are the Browns. Speaking of the Steelers, guys, we are 500-ish subs behind our Steelers channel here at Sub... Uh, sub oh, my gosh. We are 500 subs behind our Steelers channel here at Chat Sports. Help us subscribe. Do it for Cleveland. Do it because you can't stand the Steelers. Just hit that big red button, subscribe, and that way, even if we don't beat them on the field, which we absolutely will, we're going to get the revenge game. This way, we can also take them in the sub count here at Chat Sports. Next team we're going to look at, the Ravens schedule. You need the Ravens to go 1-1, one and, one. and you don't even need them to lose out. I think the Ravens can beat the Rams. They're hungry for a win, and the Rams are a soft team, and the Ravens are a tough team. It's at home, so give me a win there. And then Big Ben spoils the Ravens' playoff hopes in the final week of the season by beating them on the road and sweeping the season series against them. Wouldn't that be pretty Mike Tomlin and Big Ben ask to ruin the Steelers, uh, ru ruin the Ravens' playoff hopes by winning the last game of the season and knocking Baltimore out? I think it could happen. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, you, you know what they need to do. They need to go 1-1 one and one because you need them to lose to the Browns, and then you need them to beat the Ravens. You don't want the Ravens to go 2-0 and oh here because that gets them to 10 wins, and that gets them in the playoffs. So you actually will be rooting for the um, Steelers to beat the Ravens if the Ravens win in Week 17, which I think they will. But if the Ravens lose that one, then it really won't matter. Finally, the Bengals. You just need the Bengals to lose against the Chiefs. Because if you beat the Bengals in Week 18, you've already done that part. So you're not asking for the Bengals to lose two games. You're asking for the Browns to win two games. One of those games being against the Bengals. And then you just need the Bengals to lose to who? The Chiefs? That's not a tall order. 
You're not faxing Kansas City a long list of things you need to happen. You're just asking them to go and continue to win football games, which they've done for like eight straight weeks. I don't think this is this tall of an order, right? A win for the Chiefs in Cincinnati this weekend. The Browns win out, and boom, that's it. That's the playoffs right there for Cleveland. It's not that much more complicated. I, I, I'm not missing anything here. But we talk about the AFC North, and we've asked this question before on the channel. we got some new subscribers here. So which team do you hate the most? Let me know who your biggest thorn is, who you despise, who you hate the most. Give me a PIT for the Steelers, a BAL for the Ravens, or a CIN for the Bengals. The Bungles, the Crows, or the Steelers. Let me know which team you cannot stand the most down in the comment section. Like I said, it's not that far-fetched. Browns winning out is probably the biggest ask of this entire uh, dream list here of making the playoffs. For them to beat the Steelers on Monday Night Football on the road won't be easy. You know Mike Tomlin's going to have his team ready because we'll show the odds in a moment. They tend to do pretty well when they're underdogs. And then beat the Bengals for the second time this year. You handle business pretty well the first time. Just need to find a way to win at home the second time. We'll get to the updated playoff picture in just a moment. But first, our friends over at BetUS have great deals going on for you. 125% deposit bonus for going to chatsports.com slash bet. Plug in the promo code BROWNS125. They hook you up with 125% deposit bonus. You can spend that money on whatever you want. But on the Cavs, that's a pretty good bet at the at the moment. They're doing pretty well. So let me know what you like to bet on. But you can do it maybe this week, upcoming 17 odds here. Look at this, the Browns. Three-point favorites as of today against the Steelers on Monday Night Football. Over-under set at 4.5. That under honestly looks not tempting, but it seems like a bit of a hit. Because AFC North football this late in the season, you just get the feel it's going to be a 13-10 to 10 final. So those are the odds right there. Just do all the betting you want at chatsports.com slash bet. Have to use that link along with the promo code BROWNS125 to get the 125% deposit bonus. So when you put all those wins and losses in the playoff machine, this is what you get. You get the Browns finishing 9-8, and eight, ahead of the Bengals because they have head-to-head -head and they have a better record in the division. And then you have the Ravens at 9-8, and eight, but uh, with a three-way tie, it comes down to the top, uh, it comes down to the best team in the AFC North, which would be the Cleveland Browns. They only have two losses in the division. One to the Ravens, one to the Steelers. So Browns at 9-8, and eight, they find a way to squeak in, and here's the playoff picture. The other teams don't matter as much. They really don't impact the Browns whatsoever, but I just kind of picked the games who I thought would win just to give you an idea of who Cleveland would face, and that would be the Colts. Not a fun team that you want to play. The Colts are a little bit like the Browns. Good defense. They want to run the football and probably are doing a better job of it right now with Jonathan Taylor and that offensive line just churning out big gains after game after uh, big gain after gain. But this game would be in Cleveland at first energy, so you like to think at home the Browns could find a way to pick up a win against the Colts. When I look back at this these season, though, if the Browns don't make the playoffs, it's going to be these two games. It's going to be the Chargers and the Steelers game. Should have beat the Chargers for a lot of reasons. Not even the horrible defensive pass interference called against A.J. Green. You had that game blocked up beforehand. I look at the wasted points at the end of the first half, poor clock management, and then let Joe Burrow, sorry, let uh, Justin Herbert, got the wrong 2019, 2020 quarterback in my head. You let Justin Herbert drive down the field. You needed to make a stop or pick up a first down. And then the Steelers game at home. You just had a, you had a feel of, you know what, let's, Pay, let's bury the Steelers. Come on, we're going to turn the page on this rivalry. And the Steelers found a way to win 15-10, to 10, and Jarvis Landry has the worst game of his career as a Brown at the worst time possible. Those are the two games I look back on. But let me know, what was the most disappointing loss of the season in your mind? I gave you my two, t my two games. You can go with the Packers, but I will say this. When you turn the ball over, even if it was just three times, you probably don't deserve to win the game. But I get it because you were right there. But let me know what you're thinking in the comments section below. We'll see you later here on the Cleveland Browns Report.